would much rather have no more Funko Pops or no more U2s for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, what a hard choice. That's I so love bad. those $50 million U2s figures. U2s are so cool. I'm Caleb Griffin. I'm Colton Merchant. I'm Caleb Ladd. I'm Evan Lytle. I'm Daniel Stevens. And I'm John James Butler. This is Totally this Serious, is totally totally serious, serious totally Conversations. conversations. Serious. With Next Cop Topic Media. That's us. Next uh -huh. Topic Media presents. YouTube. <laughs> Would you like to tell our viewers what we're doing? Hello. Hello. Today Hello. is Top 10 Hello. TV shows slash series. Yeah. 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 I forgot to show you on my shirt if you want to look at it. I want to look at it. I got two shirts. I want to shirts. look at it. Is it oh. no shirt? I actually Number Wait. 10. Lost. Alright. Pretty fire ending. Yeah. I gonna lie. I don't know what that is. It was a good ending. They got stuck on it. It was a good show. I do like Lost. Do you want me to tell you what happens? Alright, my number 10. Disclaimer, I have not finished this show. That's why it's at number uh, 10. Cringe. Because if I had finished it, like it would probably be like top 5. But since I haven't finished it, I gotta rank it low in case I don't like the ending. Yeah. Breaking Bad. <laughs> it's so good. I love this show. That's That's Evan, how do you feel about breaking? I hate it. <laughs> Banana Personal. potato. No, it's cool. Oh, man. Yeah, it's, man. My number 10 is a classic cartoon called SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh, it's so low. I love it. Oh, I love how low it is on the list. <laughs> I really expect that to be higher on his list. Me too. Well, I had to be honest with myself. I did too. That's why I'm so happy. The show is still going on. It's progressively getting worse. Oh, really uh, I guess that makes now. sense. Wait, SpongeBob is still going? Well, for the preference, my top 10, I don't really watch that many TV shows. So a lot of my picks are nostalgia picks, not including this one. My top, uh, my number 10 is Master Chef. Real. Oh, I like nah, that. Cutthroat valid. Kitchen was the best food network. Cutthroat no, Kitchen chop. was pretty good. Cutthroat Kitchen Dude, was awesome. Was Dude, Hell's Kitchen. I just, was good. Master Chef is so though. funny because or, it's just Gordon Ramsay, Joey, and then the bigger guy. He, they're just yelling at people <laughs> and they're like, they're making them cry every episode. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> just what, uh, oh, I love it. The best resorting grown men and, and women to tears is so funny to me. My number 10 was surprisingly low for this show for me. Community. Interesting. But everything else above not on happening. this list is, it's on the list. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> My number 10 is Good Luck Charlie. Ooh. Okay. okay. I like, that. I really like Good Luck Charlie. The good throwback. Number 9. This one honestly would be higher, but it's just I don't think of it like I think of normal TV shows. Oh, but I think I, I do know what's coming. absolutely love it. Impractical Jokers. Yes! I love, I love that it. show. Great show. You can't okay. wait. I'll tell you my number nine. Hold on. Wait, hold the phone, folks. Is it my number nine? Yeah. Is it good? I was going to let you talk about it. Oh, I guess I'll talk about it. No, bit. actually, hold up. Can I actually my talk number about nine it? is Impractical Joke. Ooh. Now we can both talk about it. Oh, yeah. It's the funniest kid, show on earth. When I was a kid, me and my dad, whenever my mommy wasn't home, when we'd be like getting McDonald's for dinner or whatever, we'd always watch Impractical Jokers. So and funny! I, love <laughs> I even like it now. It's not. I, I still now. love it now. Bah, get back. Oh, it's still great. So without Joe, it's not quite the same. It's still great. Yeah. But my number nine, is and I think I think JJ is the only. Jokers. I think JJ is the only person here that will appreciate this pick. But uh, it's the Big Bang Theory. It's Outer Banks. I'm gonna appreciate the pick. Thank you, Evan. I can appreciate it, but I just don't like the. I don't like the humor in Big Bang Theory. That's fair. My number nine pick is The Walking Dead. Okay. Great TV show. It kind of fell off towards the end. That's why it's slower on my list. But I used to watch The Rocking Dead, The Rocking Dead, The Rocking Dead a lot. The Rocking Dead. <laughs> my number nine is Teen Titans. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Okay. Right. Not Go and Not Titans. Hot Take. Teen Titans. Teen Titans Go is better. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that. That's pretty hot. But if I'm gonna sit down and watch one of the two, it's gonna be Teen Titans Go every time because it's and fun. And that's to why watch. you're a child. You know what? <laughs> Teen Titans is incredible, but I have more fun watching Teen Titans Go. My number nine. I'm actually rewatching the show right now and have actually oh, laughed out loud no, a few is. times, and it shocked me that I have laughed out loud. But number nine, Sweet Life on Deck. Ooh, lovely show. I I, I struggled. Yeah, I struggled Great show. with. Which Sweet Life to put on there, but in Sweet my Life on opinion, Deck is better. better. Sweet Life on Deck is better. I, I, it's it's, it's funnier. I, I do like both of them, but this one's better. Okay. Let's see, starting with A's. 
Abigail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like, so. Tracy. That starts with the T. Yes, they both she have. A. The only <laughs> thing Sweet Life on Deck doesn't have is Arwen. Yeah. But they replaced and Esteban. Arwen and Esteban. But they had brought in Kirby. Kirby Ar- was Ar- a great yeah, character. I love so. Kirby. Kirby wasn't there anymore either, was she? Who? Sweet Life on Deck was. Tiffany still there? Tip. Maddie. Yeah, no, she no, was not. no, Tiffany was not there. All right, she wasn't there in the yeah. original either. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. Number eight for me, another nostalgia pick. There's going to be a lot of these on this list. Gravity Falls. Mm-hmm. This man got me into Gravity Falls, and a, I'm so glad he did. It's a banger, it's a banger show. show. I want to watch it, but Thank I haven't you. finished it. The episodes I've seen are like top tier. My if number eight, um, one of my favorite pieces of Marvel. Is Loki. I like the Loki TV show a lot. My number eight, just a just a spectacular show. Oh, <laughs> what is the spectacular? Show? I think Spider-Man. it's the Batman series. The spectacular Spider-Man. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. You think I, you think the spectacular Spider Man's low? At eight? For your list. For uh, your list. I mean, it's it's a <clears throat> oh, it's so good. I, almost I wasn't expecting it to be higher. So my number eight is Sweet Life on Deck. I agree with JJ. Such a great show. And you actually really agree with him because you put it at eight and he put it at nine. <laughs> that you got him so I got good. him good. Ah! Yes. My number eight, kind of a bit of a throwback here. Boy Meets World. Oh. Boy Meets yeah. World was better. I'm kidding, guys. It was a joke. Whoa. Whoa. Sabrina Whoa. Whoa. Carpenter is in that Girl Meets like World. That sounds like the guy who says he likes. Yeah, it's a pangas in both of them. Girl Meets World is not better. It was a joke. All right, my number eight, uh, Austin and Allie. Solid. I like Austin. I didn't really like. I Austin. don't like Austin and Allie. Austin and Allie's final two seasons were like straight dog water trash. It was straight. When it turned water into water. every episode was Austin and Allie. Will they? Won't they? It was just so bad. Yeah. No. Even the, the, the last season when they became like the music like uh, school and Austin was like such a douche. I don't get why I Disney know. shows always have to change the scenery in the final like, season. Like we said we were talking about the like, other day. The only why did Liv and Maddie do that? Number seven. Stranger Things. It's a good show. I love it. That is a good show. I, I can't just, get on it. I can't get on it either. I can't. I think the first season is probably the best. I like the first so. two seasons, and then they got like, here's a giant scientific lab that like would never exist in the 80s. But it's a TV And a bunch of it's little kids good. break into yeah. it. You guys got to talk about your show. This is my turn. <laughs> <laughs> just hurry up and say it. Just say season it. four, I think, is the best episode of the show. Hey, Three. spit it out. Whenever. I spit it! Uh, my, my number seven is Chainsaw Man. It was really good. Ooh, I got to watch yes. Colton. It has the, the best music in anime. Next. All right. I'm going to get a lot of hate on this one. I don't care. My number seven is Friends. I love Gosh, that show. It's disgusting. I love that show. Please, I don't man. hate Friends, no, but gosh, I've never watched Stop talking about Friends. Go to number seven. Yeah, I don't hate What's your it, number seven, Colton? I like it. Thank you. It's not funny. It's not as good as Seinfeld. But. It's not. It's not as good as Seinfeld. I like it better than Seinfeld. I like it better it's than not. Seinfeld. Oh, gosh. You like Friends more than Seinfeld? Y'all are crazy. Yes. How do you not friends? like Friends, but like it more than Seinfeld? I've that is seen like, about an equal wild. amount of both of them. Like, Seinfeld's incredible. No, I like Seinfeld. It's better than Friends. Thank you. I will say, Thank I never you. laughed at Friends, Thank but I, I, I did Seinfeld. laugh at... My number seven is iCarly. Thank you. Thank you. I, I just really love the character. Spencer being my favorite, easily. What about Giddy? Gibby, Gibby's great, yeah, yeah, yeah. but I don't know, friend. Jerry Trainer. he, he just carries a special yeah, place great. in my heart, and iCarly was just yeah. an amazing childhood memory. <laughs> what you me. got there? Smoothie. <laughs> Speaking of smoothies, my number seven is Phineas and Ferb, Ruben. That's what you're going to do today, Joe. Little transition. <laughs> JJ? All right, speaking of Phineas and Ferb, my number seven is The Middle. I like The oh, Middle. middle. Brick. 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 Brick might be one of the funniest characters there is. I've never seen he's so, he's the middle. So... Number six. It's like what the English name or the Japanese name? Both. What can you pronounce? Demon Slayer. Let's go! Kometsu I'm the Demon no Slayer! Kometsu no Yaiba! <laughs> Sorry, guys. It's an amazing show. It's I was, I was, <laughs> this guy's not a real fan. This guy. Like, it's an amazing show. If you haven't seen it, you should. My number six is The Mandalorian, and I'm kind of nervous now because Caleb said the newest episode was stinky, stinky. By newest movie. episode, I mean episode three, because by the time this comes out, oh. episode four will probably have released. But episode yeah, three is what we're talking about. Oh, I, I didn't get to three. see it because I was in Guatemala. I had a lot more pressing matters to do <laughs> yeah, to attend to. That's fair. So, um... 
Yeah, no, I, I haven't watched the third episode of season three, but the first two seasons are like Very my second or third favorite things in Star Wars. Yeah. So I, I just, I don't know, he's such a fun character. I love him. My number six, love this show. It's called New Girl. Mm. Yeah. You know, Caleb put me on New Girl. It's good. good. I said I said to watch an episode after I made food. I, I've only seen one episode and I like that one episode I watched. He really loves Winston. Really Winston, Winston is the guy. I love Winston. Winston. Also, I, I, I adore Schmidt's my favorite. Dude, I love Nick's, Schmidt. Nick's mom Schmidt. favorite. Nick's favorite. Schmidt. They're all Schmidt great. Though, yeah. Honestly, no, it's a great show. Winston, he. I don't think Winston's there's been a like, line that he said that didn't make me laugh. He's so funny. No, bro, his best the, line the, is like, "Old people are so cute. You can put them in anything and laugh." Except the ground. <laughs> <laughs> My number six is Loki. Real. I I do like I do like most of the Marvel shows, but Loki's definitely my favorite. I, I think mean, Loki's I the only Knight one that was favorite. exceptional. No, Loki Loki's my favorite. Moon Knight is a close contender, and I love Hawkeye as well. But those are my top three yeah. of Marvel shows. But Loki's those up, are the three best Marvel shows. They are okay, my number six. Samurai Jack. <laughs> I was not expecting. Oh, wait, wait, who's was not expecting a Samurai Jack mention. I, I, was. Sure. Was a good so I haven't it. seen it. Does it get bad in the last season? No, it's, <clears> that's the best. That is the best season. I Samurai Jack, like, the last is, season's the. I will let I've you heard you everybody that loves the show say the last season's like terribly bad. No, 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 no. My number six has actually already been mentioned. It's The Big Bang Theory. Number five. Oh, this would have been higher a couple years ago, but a lot of stuff has overtaken since then. But I still love the show, The Office. My number five. Um, I think this was. Uh, if I were to do like an underrated TV show list, this would definitely be on it. It's incredible. It's The Good Place. I love Ted Danson. I talked about him in top ten fictional characters. That's not the name of his character. His name is Michael, but Ted Danson is his actor. Michael. It's just a really well written show. It's really funny and like it's a really cool idea yeah. and very fake. It's not real at all. So I don't believe it. My number five that was blankly scary. Is <laughs> one of the more it's probably one of the funniest shows ever, in my opinion. This is community. Yep. So funny. Community is I've only seen like half of it or it would be on there. Um, my number five is definitely a throwback to the throwbacks. It's regular show. Mm. I just love regular show. Mm. I love it. It's, it's still relevant today. That's why it's so good. It's just there's a lot of clips that you can just go back and watch and still laugh at. And then you can still just watch a whole episode without getting bored. In my opinion. My number good. five. Batman the Animated Serial. Oh, it's so good. I need to watch that. I, oh, the Superman awesome. animated series is also really good. I, I need, to, I need to watch like DC better. animated series because I, I keep seeing the clips show up on TikTok oh, and they, it just looks so good. The Batman, the Batman one is the one where the Joker better. like in Batman it's Mark together. Dude, Mark, yeah. the realest yeah. thing is like in one episode, a gangster like walks in the room and he has like his gun because like Batman knocks something over. He sees Batman and just like walks out of the room. <laughs> like, I'm not. Um, I love when shows or movies with Batman like make the criminals like horribly afraid of Batman. Yeah. Yeah. It's awesome. Speaking of fear, <laughs> I'm scared. Please don't say face. something stupid, JJ, but give me your number five. Okay, my number five. It was Love 2014. Oh my, JJ. <laughs> oh, that's a movie. That's a movie, not TV that's show. In this Love, the, the TV <laughs> show. <laughs> it's so Holy stupid. Crap. It was an hour 24 long <laughs> episode. My number five is Friday Night Lights. I haven't watched it, but the first. It's the first TV show I ever watched all the way through on Netflix. I hope no, that. Yeah. Would you back. recommend it? Was I hope that I watched it all the way through on Netflix. Disney would you recommend it? Show. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you don't like football, the plot's really good. There's two recommendations totally that I would want to take part. <laughs> Number four. This is an amazing show. Cowboy Bebop. It's mm. good. I love Cowboy Bebop. One of the few animes that I've enjoyed. It is very, very good. My number four, absolutely goaded with the sauce. I love this show. But it's only the. I said Impractical Jokers was the funniest show I've seen, but this, like, TV show wise, is the second funniest I've seen. It's uh, Love is War. It's so funny. 
It's still going on, thank goodness. It's hilarious. Like I laughed every episode. Y'all have never heard, seen it. Um, I know these two have. I actually binged the whole song. show in three days over the spring break. It's and like, it was so good. And then I asked my brother to watch it, and it topped his favorite show. So it's now his favorite show ever, which is really cool. No um, one cares. Um, no, number four is interchangeable with my number three. Uh, but today I felt like putting this in number four, and it's Parks and Rec. Okay. Like I like Parks and Rec. I, love, love I like Rec. Parks and Rec, but I haven't sat down to watch it. It's just two of the best TV characters ever. Andy Dwyer and Ron Swanson. I love them. They're just so great. My number four is The Boys. Real. The Boys are back. The boys I don't know. Caleb, Caleb mentioned it earlier, but it's a really good plot. And I just, I love all the characters. There's a lot of grotesque stuff in The Boys, oh, but something. that doesn't take away from how good the TV show is. My number four and three are probably interchangeable as well. My number four is Star Wars, The Clone Wars. Real. Also top three is the type of Star Wars stuff. The Siege of Mandalore is flawless. Season seven is, season seven is not flawless. Season seven is flawed far from flawless. But the Siege but of Mandalore. The last, the last four, four episodes, episodes are flawless. flawless. My number three and four are not interchangeable. Um, my number four is Full House. Now, do, you like, do you like Fuller like House? No. Nah. I don't like either. I haven't yeah, seen I either haven't of liked, them, but... Like this is another very good comfort show for me. Watched it a lot with my dad. Seinfeld. Seinfeld. Great show. Do you like yeah. Seinfeld? I love Seinfeld. Seinfeld. My number three... Um... <laughs> is not interchangeable, much like JJ's number four and number three. is not interchangeable between my number four... But it's Violet Evergarden. Ooh, good pick. I think I'm the only one here who's seen the whole show. But yeah, I haven't seen it, but good pick. I've seen these almost two. all the shows. She writes well. Sadly, I've seen almost the whole show. We Whoa. stopped right We stopped right before the best episode that was going to make me cry in front of these yep. men. Yep. How can a cartoon make you cry? Hey. Didn't you cry at Cars? <laughs> no. <laughs> Yes. So you cry one of the worst the movies of all time? I think cartoons can Cars. Make, cartoons can definitely make oh, you yeah, cry. Cartoons can make you cry. But just that one did not. My number three good is, if you probably couldn't guess, The Office. I love The Office. The Office. Interchangeable with Parks and Rec from time to time, but both are fabulous shows. Okay. The Office is great. My number three show is Spongebob. I love Spongebob. It's surprisingly one, two, three, higher six, on my seven, list or? than Caleb's. Oh no, it's after season seven, it's it kind of goes downhill from there. But SpongeBob season one through seven is peak. Yes, it is. Now I only put this at number three because it's a show I can just go back and watch, knowing every single word of the episode, and then still laughing, still laughing. at the episode. My number three is Batman Beyond. Oh yeah, more Batman. Oh yeah. Batman. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like peak because they made it the same time as the animated series. So you can be like, here's a young Batman and here's an old Batman. And it's the same guy. No way, it's the same guy. Yeah, and Mark Hamill still voiced Joker. And it made the best costumes in the Arkham games. Alright, my number three is Phineas and Ferb. There you go. That was a good pick. What's your number two? two? I remember watching it on season five right now. I love this show to death. How many seasons are there? Nine. Five. Way too many. Regular show. I love regular show, man. man that's, that is like Some would say it's a top six show for me. Is it really? I would be one of them. Yeah. Besides, like, this show's really funny. It's definitely not like the funny show I've ever seen. But it is so incredibly relatable. Like... Mordecai I too find myself in my her? job and then I randomly like blow up the universe. <laughs> I too no, it really is like I'm a the problems the characters like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, restart your sentence. <laughs> the the ca- what did he like, say? He said got- I too am a raccoon. <laughs> my number two. This one would have been way higher about a year ago, like way higher. Like, up, like, like one, 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 one spot. Higher. Up, one, up, Holy one crap! Spot. But. Can get much higher. I haven't watched it since it got taken off Netflix, no. but it's The Office. I, it's I love The Office. It has like the, some of the best characters. It's I think it's got like The Office. It's never 
bad, like, besides some of the later episodes. It would definitely be a contender still for number one if it didn't drop off so hard in season eight and nine. But the finale is still one of the best finales of TV show. That is true. My number two is just probably the greatest story ever told on television. Sabotage the last game. Hmm. So well, I thought it would be not the greatest, or else it would have been number one. Well, number one. So there's a problem here. Yeah. Number one. Don't tell me the thing. Well, you'll number one. know why number one isn't the greatest story when I send it. All right. Well, my number two show is Breaking Bad. Now, I will say I haven't finished it quite yet, but I can go I ahead. I think that's egregious. <laughs> I, I have two episodes left. Who would have I have two episodes show. left. But I, think that's I mean, outrageous. it's already it captured my attention so quick, and it's it's something where each episode is an hour long, and I can watch at least five to six episodes a day. My number two, <laughs> spectacular Spider Man. I didn't yes. think anyone else was going to yes. say it. Yes. I've never yes. seen it, but I really oh, like Ultimate Spider-Man. I do love well, Ultimate Spider-Man. It's better. It's better than Ultimate. Ultimate Spider-Man is great. It's just the plot of Spectacular is just amazing. Yeah. My number two has already been mentioned in this Joseph number slot. It's The Office. Woo! Let's go, JJ. This is our first ever matching pick. Yay! 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 I got three honorable mentions. Now this video's gonna be as long as the movie. I got five oh things goodness. to say. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. All right. The middle. Love the middle. So yeah. Is. Phineas and Ferb. Yeah. And Gilligan's Island. Oh. I like the Eddie Griffith show more. But. I do oh, that should. That's an honorable mention too. I'm adding that Eddie Griffith show. My honorable mentions are The Boys, Sword Art Online. Yeah. I have a lot of these in my honorable mentions: The Punisher, The Amazing World of Gumball. And then also, this is one that I also haven't finished, so I couldn't put it in my top ten, but The Chosen. All right, honorable mentions. Andor, <sighs> Phineas and Ferb, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Um, <laughs> this is a nostalgia pick, Power Rangers Dino Thunder. Uh, <laughs> the power, I love how objectively bad every Power Rangers show is. Dino Thunder was the best one. No, they're, they're all so bad. They're they're awful. Awful. I love oh, them. Man, I, uh, Drake and Josh. Mm. And the King of Queens. Ooh. Oh my, my honorable mentions include com- include Community, Family Feud, Dragon Ball Super, Impractical Jokers, Parks and Rec, and Drake and Josh. Honorable I mentions. Family Feud. Oh. Let's get it. Star Wars: The Bad Batch. All right. Don't hit the player. Hit the game. That's I seventy show. <laughs> oh, I'm hating that. I like that. Power show. Rangers: Samurai. The OC. Reacher and the Terminal List. Did you say the OC? Yes, oh, the OC. Yeah. Got iCarly. Shake it up. Oh, it was just okay. It was just really boring. I didn't like Shake it up. That's Wizards of Waverly Place. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was allowed to watch it. Live Plays. and Maddie. Good show. Hmm. This is this is a very slept on show right here. Dog with the blog. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I yeah. forgot yeah. about that. Jesse. 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 I didn't like Jesse. I adore this show. I need to rewatch it because I love it so much. Avatar: The Last Airbender. I need to see Legend of Korra too, but Avatar, no, you, no, you, seen it, you gotta watch it. My number one, easiest pick Wait, of my life. Wait, does it start with Kometsu? Yes. Easiest pick of my life, number one, Demon Slayer. I love Demon Woo! Slayer. Woo! Demon um, Slayer! We so love that good. guy. Tanjiro! Um, Tanjiro Gaba! Go. Go. <laughs> <laughs> also, but did you watch the movie with uh, the swordsmith? Yeah. 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 My number one is the show about nothing, Seinfeld. Mm. Ew. Wow, JJ, I'm glad that we can dislike this together. Uh, you guys are tri- you need I feel I feel closer to JJ now. Yeah, it's such a comfort show. It's so well, you're three. People I feel like away this is the first us. totally serious that Caleb and JJ, JJ were actually close. Oh, yes. Me and JJ have had pretty. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we had the office at the same. We had spot. the office, Big Bang Theory, and Community. I feel like me and you might have been closer. You had Seinfeld at number one. We can all agree that JJ was close to Seinfeld. All right, we got. Well, what was your number one? We My can number all one. agree that JJ was close to something. <laughs> My number one pick is The Office. <laughs> Wonderful TV <laughs> show. An endless watch. I need to watch it again, but it's it's just so good. Yeah, The Office is very funny. My number one, Avatar The Last Wow. Good pick, good pick. Wow. Thank you, thank you. All right, my number one, been mentioned multiple times, Community. I in the morning. Right, I, I was morning. waiting for Community to show up. So thank you guys so much for watching. 
Please subscribe to Next Topic Media and stay tuned for more Totally Serious Conversations. We're at 331 subscribers. Holy, we dropped?